And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, it's another cool morning out there. It's not quite as cold as it was yesterday at this time. Temperatures are currently sitting right around 18 degrees, and there's a lack of wind as well, so no wind chills to speak of. But there's one thing that we didn't have yesterday. That's snow. We are tracking snow across the northern half of the viewing area within the last couple of hours here. You get a better look at where the heaviest snowfall is on our Precision 18 radar. You can see the heaviest snow falling across parts of Fulton as well as Cass, Miami counties. Some heavier snow now moving back into central Jasper and Newton counties as as well. This may also begin to sink a little bit further off to the south within the next couple of hours, supplying at least a dusting to some of our southern counties. Here's your high res future cast. You can see that snow passing even through the viewing area into the early afternoon hours. Here's a look at your lunch hour. Lafayette still staying mainly dry. We'll see some light flurries pass before be clearing up nice and good for your evening commute home. The sun will come out. Temperatures, well, they're expected to warm up to about the mid 20s later today, but as far as snow accumulations go, we're talking anywhere between a dusting to an inch as far as far as the southern half of the viewing area goes, that goes as far north as White as well as uh, Cass counties, even for in southern Newton and Jasper counties, we're expecting right around an inch of snowfall. For north of that, right around an inch to possibly two inches of snow for central Newton and Jasper, Fulton, Pulaski counties. Now, when you start talking about northern Newton and Jasper counties, we could be seeing two plus inches, maybe as much as two and a half inches of snow before the afternoon is up. Well, at 24 degrees here in West Lafayette later today, 25 in Delphi, right around 26 in Rochester before we fall off to around 6 degrees by 10 p.m. Look at this progression of temperatures. We'll see 24 degrees. That'll be your high temperature right when that cold front moves just off to the east of us. That'll be the warmest part of the day. We'll see our cloud cover begin to clear up. 19 degrees by 5 p.m. Dropping that much in, a short, in such a short period of time. Drop from 19 to 6 degrees over the next following four hours. And then we fall all the way back down to negative 3 overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. A frigidly cold cold night. This will be the coldest night if this holds true since February 10th, 2011 when we dropped the negative 10. Now we're not going to be falling that low, but wind chills will feel about that low. Check out those winds from the northwest 10 to 15 miles per hour, dropping wind chills as low as negative 10, possibly negative 11 degrees. So a very, very cold night remains ahead of us, and we're not going to be bouncing back much for your tomorrow. We're looking at mainly clear skies, high pressure off to the west of us, creating a channel of cool air as well as clear conditions. We're looking mostly sunny skies throughout the day tomorrow with temperatures sitting right around 17 degrees. Pretty gusty day as well with winds gusting up near 20 miles per hour, meaning wind chills will likely be right around the single digits throughout your Thursday. Now, once we start talking about Friday and Saturday, we can start talking about our snow chances. We're looking at uh, snowfall beginning likely Friday night as a wintry mix beginning to turn into a snowfall as temperatures fall from 32 Saturday morning all the way to 15 Saturday night into Sunday morning. Snowfall amounts could be anywhere between about two to four inches as of right now. However, with a ton of moisture laying just off to our southwest, any injection of that into the system may produce even more. So we could potentially see as much as four, possibly six inches of snowfall by Saturday afternoon. This is a situation we're going to continue to monitor to keep our eyes on. But when temperatures warm back up to that 32 degrees, that freezing mark, which is so warm considering what we've been dealing with the last couple of days, mm -hmm. we fall right back down to the upper teens and low 20s again for the beginning of the next work week. All right, Cameron, thank you very much. The days of